My friends would laugh at me because they feel like language is a subject that you just cannot study for. But I am glad that I was able to prove them wrong. I am Patricia and I was from CHIJ St. Joseph's Convent. From Sec 1 to Sec 2, um, I didn't really get much support from my English teacher. She would just give us practice papers and then mark them. And by the time she gave them back to us, I would have forgotten when I did it. And so I wouldn't know where exactly I went wrong. And when I went for consultations, she would always tell me that language is a subject that's very difficult to teach. So I lost a lot of hope. So from Sec 1 to Sec 3, I actually had a private tutor for English and my grades were pretty consistent at F9 for the 3 years. My English journey wasn't very smooth sailing because I didn't understand where I was going wrong. My tutor would constantly give me editing practices to do but for examinations, I was still scoring a 3 to 5 out of 10 and every time I asked my tutor, she told me it was because I wasn't reading enough books. So I tried reading more books, but I was still scoring a 3 to 5. So I decided to join EduH and on the trial, they actually looked through my SA2 papers and could tell me exactly where I went wrong, how I could improve. And that was something no tuition centres have ever told me. They would just tell me my mistake and just leave it there and I don't know how to improve. I applied EduH method and for the first time when I saw the compo question, I wasn't actually blank and I felt like I had nothing to write about. I used the 4W1H that Mr. Ching told us so I questioned every single thing I wrote down on the paper. I also tried to do a lot of school papers that the school gave me using EduH method and I was able to do very very well. Even on the day of O-levels when I was studying for English, my friends would laugh at me because they feel like language is a subject that you just cannot study for. But I am glad that I was able to prove them wrong. So I came into the examination hall pretty nervous. Even though I knew I was quite well prepared, but I've never scored a distinction in my entire secondary school journey. So scoring an A2 for O-levels was shocking for me. And it really made me believe that EduH was very beneficial for my English grade. It was basically the first few circuit breaker online classes that we had. After the first lesson, I actually felt like EduH was the first online class I really enjoyed. The teachers made sure that they covered what they had to cover and at the same time gave us breaks in between. And that made me feel like they didn't only care about my grades but also my well-being as a student. And they also made sure to touch on every single component and I felt like it was as effective as face-to-face -face classes. So I felt like that was a very memorable moment for me. I feel like they should join EduH if you're on the fence or you are very inconsistent with your grade because they give step-by-step -step instructions on how to approach certain components and in fact all components in the English paper is being touched. And although the journey to achieving that distinction during O-levels or N-levels might not be a very smooth sailing one, and there's going to be many failures before getting that distinction, but as long as you believe in yourself and the teachers, you'll be able to achieve that distinction.